had to go to Southeast Asia in January. I had an interesting lesson on gratitude. I knew the lesson, but this windy would made it come home. They always give me the office a list of everywhere I'm going to go, get a taxi here, how many flights, because I have a real difficult travel schedule. And I was supposed to fly out Thursday night at 8.30, actually 8.26. But I kept looking at the flight schedule and seeing Friday out of L.A., Friday, out of L.A. to Seoul, Korea, and then Bangkok, and then into Burma. And it just got stuck in my mind I was leaving Friday, but my flight was Thursday. And I've arranged to take me to the airport on Friday. Everything's geared for Friday. I've started packing. It is Thursday afternoon at 1.30, and I just thought, I've checked this flight a million times. Let me see, was it 8.26 or 8.46? When was I leaving out? I picked up the flight schedule, and for the first time in 10 times looking at it, I saw Thursday. You know that horrible sinking feeling? Have you seen somewhere in time when he sees the penny? Remember that? Oh, it was that, ah, oh, I got to be at the airport in four hours. <laughs> now I scrambled and I made it and I got the flight and I made it. But for two weeks I was so grateful at what had not happened. It would have been a disaster. It would have cost thousands of dollars. I would have missed the group in a strange country. Sometimes I'm grateful for the things that never happened in my life.